What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna tell you seven dog breeds that look like wolves. Recent molecular evidence shows that dogs are descended from the gray wolf. This was thousands and thousands of years ago, but it's no surprise that some dogs still look like wolves. So these dogs in this countdown aren't gonna look like poodles or bulldogs. Instead, they're gonna look like their great ancestors, the wolf. There's a couple dogs in this countdown that you probably didn't even know existed, so we're excited to share all seven. Make sure you watch all the way to the end. But first, we wanna tell you about Raised Right. They're a family-owned, human-grade pet food company that offers limited ingredient recipes that are high in protein and low in carbs. These whole food recipes are stored frozen and served fresh. Your dog will absolutely love it. The link to get started is in the description below. Okay, let's learn about these seven dogs that still look like their old ancestor, the wolf, and let's get started with number one. At number one is the Shiba Inu. Shiba Inus are an ancient Japanese hunting dog. They've got the narrow muzzle, the pointy ears. They're a big dog. They can be anywhere from 100 to 125 pounds in a big Shiba Inu. Typically, they're a brownish white, but their coloring even looks like a wolf and their mouth and nose and ears and eyes look like a wolf and they have the special tail that you can absolutely identify from anywhere as it curls up and is a little fluffier. The Shiba Inu is a popular dog because of their hunting abilities, they're independent and they love to have a job. They're strong, brave and will do anything to help and save their owners. At number two is the Siberian Husky. Talk about a dog that belongs on this countdown. This is a classic dog. It's a medium-sized working sled dog breed. They're used to being outside. They want to be outside. And they're working dogs that have erect triangle ears, a distinctive markings, and similar to the smaller looking Alaskan Malamute, but they are different. These guys have eyes that will pierce you. They have a short, medium-sized muzzle, and they look like wolves but they've been domesticated over the years. They still love to have a job to do, but they're more domesticated and love to be a great family dog as well. At number three is the Samoid. This is a medium-sized herding dog with a thick white double layer coat that makes them look a little bigger than they are. They're typically anywhere from 50 to 65 pounds and they love having a job to do. They come from a Siberia, so they're used to being outside. They're used to doing whatever it takes to please their owner as they're a herding dog, a sled dog at times, but this is a working dog that's used to being outside, that's now been domesticated more than ever and loves to have a family. But don't be fooled, this dog can do whatever it takes and is a very strong and versatile dog that has grown in popularity over the years because of how beautiful they are. Now they do shed, something to be aware of, but they're a great dog. At number four, it's the almighty classic German Shepherd. German Shepherds have such a distinctive look that sometimes we don't think of them as a descendant of wolves, but they definitely are with their ears, muzzle, and because of their unique markings, German Shepherds are one of the most popular dog breeds in the world. They're smart, loving, loyal, and they can do just about anything. They're incredibly versatile. They can be police, military, or they can be just a great family dog. Whatever you need from a German Shepherd, they can do it as they have the size, strength, and bravery to get any job done. German Shepherds can be anywhere from 80 to 125 pounds, and they're considered a large dog breed. At number five, it's the Alaskan Malamute. This dog looks like a wolf. They've got the beautiful muzzle, the great markings, and the long hair. This is a classic working dog that likes to be outside, having fun, and just having a job to do. They'll do anything. They have a huge double coat that keeps them protected from the elements that allows them to act like a wolf, be out having fun, but they can be a great domesticated dog that hangs with the family and just does whatever the family's doing. So if you're looking for a strong, strong-willed dog that's brave, smart, and a lot of fun, the Alaskan Malamute is one to consider. Next is the Northern Inuit dog. The Northern Inuit dog, along with offshoot breeds, is part of a 1980s breeding project in the UK with the objective of producing a dog that resembles wolves. Northern Inuit dogs descend from dogs of unknown breed ancestries imported from North America in the 80s that were crossed with Alaskan Malamutes, German Shepherds, Siberian Huskies, and Samoids. 
The intention of the breeding project was to create a dog of a wolf-like appearance that could be kept as a companion dog and could be trained for other tasks. So this dog definitely looks like a wolf. Next is the King Shepherd. King Shepherd is a cross between a German Shepherd and then a larger dog like an Alaskan Malamute. So typically you get the look of a German Shepherd, but they're going to be a little bit bigger and they're going to have less health issues than a purebred German Shepherd. So just like before, mixing a German Shepherd with an Alaskan Malamute, you're going to get a wolf-like quality, a wolf-like size, a little bit smaller than a wolf of course, but a King Shepherd has longer hair than a German Shepherd so it looks bigger. And they can be anywhere from 110 pounds to 100 145 pounds so a king shepherd makes our list of dogs that look like wolves we hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one